<laughs> Perfect. That's what I that's what I wanted to show off. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, here we are. Back and stuff. So uh we started this last week and I am nothing if not uh, stubbornly persistent. Also, uh, I think perhaps the greatest thing was it took me maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes after the stream ended, I was uh, in the bathroom and I was like, oh, I think that's how that uh, puzzle works. Because if I could throw back to myself from last week, and this is true. I would be sitting here saying, man, I know what I need to do. Because... What? That's new. Server cheats. How did I activate that? I didn't mean to. Anyway. Uh, basically. I'm sitting here going, and this is the whole thing, right? I'm going, that, that launch pad works. This one doesn't. Okay, I don't, what? A great big bushy beard. Damn. A year straight. A whole year in a row, Astro. And 13 months in total, which honestly kind of confuses me. I guess you you did like one month and then not the next and then 12? <laughs> Is that how science works? Anyway... <laughs> God, I'm dying. Yep, more wizard's eyes. I actually thought about playing uh, Might and Magic 7 today. That would make some amount of sense. Uh, because for people who know me, uh, Astro, you 100% should do that. Because uh, I would always love more modded Might and Magic. Because um, I was considering that uh, my birthday is coming up. And it's honestly, this is the closest stream to my birthday. Because Monday's stream is actually post-birthday. So uh, I was going to call it my birthday stream to myself of just playing Might and Magic. Because, you know, that's what I really want to do on stream all the time and just like it's gonna be really annoying I don't I literally alright we're, we're gonna quit quit game play see I dropped my phone onto my keyboard and I think that's what triggered that, but I don't know what buttons it was because I just dropped my phone. So I'm really hoping that uh, that went away. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, last week. No! All right, cool. I will check that out later because I don't have Discord. How do I, how do I turn this off? <laughs> like... Does, would anyone have any idea? Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Yeah. Well, now this game is going to bother me more than it reasonably should. So that's cool. 
Uh, anyway, as I was keep getting distracted. Oh God, can I finish one sentence? Me from last week uh, basically said, hey, I know what I need because I need the momentum from this plate to carry me through here to get this thing. And I was like, but I don't have, you know, my time portal. I can't move outside of here. And I was like, if only I had access to my time portal. These are things I said last week. As I sit here now staring at my time portal going. Huh. If only I had my time portal. I think it's mostly just a lining up type thing. So what's uh what's this mod about? Hmm. I'd be so annoyed if this isn't actually the solution. Which right now it certainly is uh, feeling like it isn't. Sure. I mean, the game is quite easy. Well, now I'm out of ideas again. Huh? Why? I mean, ID monster I get because it's literally the worst skill. Uh, it, like, why? Yeah, unarmed did not need a buff. I mean, it's unarmed isn't super great early, but late game is uh, ridiculously strong. Like, monks are the highest damage melee class I have found in seven for just hitting there and spamming attack. Well, now what? <laughs> yeah, at least the bots are back out. I definitely thought that this would work. I'm sad that it doesn't. That you don't have enough momentum to actually carry you through. Whoa. I hope they scrapped that. Just genuinely think that that's kind of uh, ludicrous. I mean, the ID monster one, I like. Just because, well, exactly that. ID monster was the worst skill in the game. Right? Thinking of all the skills... 
thinking about which ones I never use. And it's ID Monster. Because once you know what the monsters are by having already played the game, just kind of assuming, because it's not like there's a ton of detail that you need on most things. Uh, why, why would you bother taking ID Monster? I don't need to know the exact hit points of this harpy. I just need to make it dead. All right, well, I thought I had a solution to this. And as it turns out, I don't. And also, every time I go through a time portal, it uh, gives me this cool text pop up. And that's driving me insane. So I might have to figure something else out to do. If I pull up Discord. The only problem being it might take me a while to get that installed uh, because I don't think think huh those are all fun uh, Yeah, I don't currently have a... The only version of 7 I have installed right now is a modded version. So I'd have to do a clean install of 7, and then the gray face patch, and then this. Uh, which I might do for next week. Let's be honest. I'll probably do for next week. Oh, yeah. I mean, that is how this microphone works. It's part of why we use them, is that uh, they uh, they pick up what's directly in front of them, and then, like, all it takes is uh, a little bit of movement, and suddenly the uh, drop-off is a lot. So you don't have to really worry about picking up the audio from other people or cars or dogs or whatever. See? <laughs> uh, yeah, I only have a uh, modded version of 7 right now. So I would have to uh, not necessarily delete that, but install a new version of 7 and then the gray face patch, and then that mod. Uh, so I'm not going to do that in the next, I don't know, 15 minutes. Which I could, I guess. And I really want to solve this puzzle. It's been bothering me. Because I thought this would work, and now it doesn't. Now I'm perplexed. What am I supposed to do? Okay. So that's yeah, there's momentum here. But not enough to reach any portal surfaces. Blinking lights, blah blah blah. There's no surfaces on the ceiling to try to create infinite momentum. Which means the only thing is this guy. And the only real source of momentum is this. But I don't come out of it fast enough to actually do anything. 
apparently. So how do I get the momentum? The memento. I will not be defeated. I'm going to be defeated. Uh, okay, so if you weren't around blah, 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 blah for last week, this is how we came in. Well, I mean, So we were in the past, or the future. God, the everything's dumb. Anyway, and we got, you can see, aha, we get down there. And this is how we got into the room. We're in the future where everything's decrepit. This is a regular annihilation field. It destroys all your portals. We come in here, got a bouncy plate, and then we can see that this, the bounce pad, is broke. Uh, it's covered in junk from the ceiling. And we need to get there. But not just there. Uh, also, our, our time portal currently doesn't work. I didn't know I could zoom. Uh, our, our middle green doesn't work. When we go in here, this is the special makes your time portal work. So I can shoot there, but I can't make one out here. Okay, so we got a time portal to take us to the past where everything's shiny and new. And the goal is to get here. But not just here. We need a thing. Well, where's the thing? The thing is there. Uh, press the button, fly through, grab the thing. Easy peasy. Now, if we do this, aha, we have a thing. We fly through the portal. Everything is lemony snicket. Oh wait, except that's an annihilation field. Uh, the first one? This one? Final launch. Oh yeah, there is one there. There is a portal there. The problem is because that portal hits a slope, right? Like, it it's hard to tell exactly. Um, I haven't come across any major red herrings, but I also solved at least one portal. Forgot to press the button. How, not how they expected, so. So we have our cube, but because the cube exists here, the cube also exists in the future. Future cube. And this is, obviously, you can see, aha, they don't have power for the uh, word of annihilation or whatever. Now, the problem is this one just goes straight up. Right? It doesn't actually give us any momentum. But I can't, for the life of me, figure out, like, I can't, I can't just make infinite momentum because this is at an angle. 
also the near impossibility of falling properly. I tried this a couple times where I would like try to jump through and do that, and, but like you see it, you end up falling sideways. Also, I would need to come out of this one, not this one, so like, I, I don't know what that ceiling panel's for. I feel like it should play into the solution, but I'm not sure how. But also, we have this time portal. And I was really hoping that I would be able to use momentum through the time portal. But I can't. Unless I can find a different way to get different amounts of momentum. Oh, cool. I'll just die. I mean, it's not like this is not a long puzzle to get back to. Also, there aren't too many puzzles left, which is why I really like leaving things unfinished bothers me. Unlike uh, my compatriot uh, who will just like start a thing and then never play it again. I forgot to press the button. I don't know if he's around to get insulted, but insult him anyway. <laughs> We're talking about Jake. And how uh, he did one episode of Might and Magic 9. Uh, he... I don't know how many times he started... Uh, different Dark Souls runs on stream. I keep forgetting to press the stupid button. Oh, you did two? That doesn't feel right, but I, I can't look that up. It's impossible. No one can know for sure. And also, Jake, uh, how, how, many, how many Dark Souls have you done? <laughs> how many souls have you darked? I'm just going to start pressing random, random buttons to see if I can turn that off because it really bothers me. You didn't like being brutally murdered all the time for daring to exist? You fool! See, that's what I thought. Do I have to, like, main menu? Nah, nah, I will suffer on stream. God damn it. Turn off, you bastard. Uh, no, I'm just here to suffer. It's going to be this puzzle for the next two hours. That's it. That's life. This is me now. No. No. I, Astro, no, everyone knows you can't finish Might and Magic 9. I 
At some point, when you get near the end boss, your soul just leaves your body. You become a, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, I'm blanking on a word. The Harry Potter word. You put your soul into something. Horcrux. You become a Horcrux for John Van Cunningham. That's, you don't beat my magic nine. All right. So I could bring future cube into the past here, but I don't know how that helps me at, at all. Because, uh, okay, so things we know. Clearly, this has to be done in the past. Also, clearly, this developer console is broken, and I hate it. So we're in the past, future, whatever. I know how time works. gotta be there. Can I just like huck the cube up there? Is that an option? Ah! <laughs> Almost. Hang on, let me try again. <laughs> We're on to something. <laughs> it didn't work that time. It seems we have a bit too much momentum going that way. And not enough. <laughs> oh no! The cube is in a place I can't access it! Cube, why? This is an easy fix. Thanks to past cube here. Thanks, past cube. Dang it, I re-grabbed it. I think. I don't know, the game really doesn't like me trying to do this. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> See, at least we can have fun in our miserable failures. Cube, how dare you? Yeah, I just don't have the time, I don't think, to get it. Enough momentum going sideways. And when I try to spin the other way, it just like stops in midair. Precision. <laughs> Didn't see where that one went, but uh, we're getting closer. Ooh, we almost had it. Stupidity is going to win this day. Also, if anyone has any actual ideas, I am very open to them. <sighs> All right, we got to look up a little bit more. Fast twitch muscles aren't quite there. It's 
also harder because I uh, have to look away. <laughs> <gasps> we got the cube! <laughs> now we just have to figure out how to get ourselves up there. <laughs> uh, this is clearly working as intended. <laughs> Alright, so anyone have any ideas how to actually do the thing? Because we're, we're still not actually there. Clearly, a portal goes there, right? We we can all we can all agree on that. If orange portal doesn't go there, we're not getting here. That's just, that's just step one. So we've got one of the portals locked. So the question is, is there a way to create momentum? that I'm not thinking of. Because otherwise, if it's just here, then the blue portal has to be here in this timeline. Because that's our only source of momentum. Still really bummed that this didn't work. It feels so right and like so, you know, just the right amount of clever. Okay. Well done. Since the catwalk to the next chamber appears to be non-existent, you can rely on the power of aerial faith plates to get you there. This next chamber should really test your observation skills. Take yeah, just a good look around first, and then decide what to do and in which order. Yeah, just uh, do the thing that you were doing that whole time. What a fool I was! Anyway, all right, so we've got a button. Button gets us a cube, a prism cube, because we've got a laser. We've got a laser uh, up there and over there. We've got some plates there to get us over there. I think that's our exit. And then we've got plates here to get us up into those areas. I mean, he's gonna make this one. And we've got this for, st for stuff. Uh, I did just huck it, but then I uh, literally did the thing that I had been doing. But this time it worked. When I said that at the very beginning, I was like, I think I know the solution. That was the solution. I just didn't execute, I guess. Which is what, what they say, right? Execution is nine tenths of the law, or whatever. So now we got these prism dudes. Uh, this is some kind of thing. What's this do? Just launches us up. Okay. Uh, oh, weird. Uh, 
How do I get over there? I mean, I can like jump on a thing. But I don't think that gives me enough lift. Weird. Okay, so that's how I get up here. And now I have a cube. Gravity. Uh. Aha! So I probably have to cube, right? Like, get that pointed there. Maybe? I, like, I can't see any other portalable surfaces that I can point at. Like, I'm too high for that one, I think. Eh, it's close. Yeah, it's not going in. But if I go that way, now that's a portal. Okay, so uh, I have to get this one set up proper like. Ow, thank you. Because I need the time portal to get that one. Uh, I can just grab this, right? I can just press this button. Time portal! I haven't checked. I should probably do that. Uh, boop. So we need to go blue. Right. So the idea will be uh, put portal there, put portal there. But we need both of these lasers to be active. Simple enough. So now we just have to figure out how to get there. Which is unfortunately difficult because this one is uh, flat. So I'm not seeing particularly a, a quick way up there. Because it's not like this will get me. This is going to bleh. So we're going to have to try to really think through time, right? Because in the future, caught myself, see, this is at an angle, right? So the question is, is there somewhere I can give myself some sort of angular momentum. The answer is I'm not sure. So 
So obviously this is the, the whole problem here, right? This whole puzzle is pretty basic up until this one step. How do we get up there? And I can do it in theory in either, because if I can do it in the past here, then uh, presumably there's two portal surfaces up there. I can just make a time portal and walk around. Um, but I obviously don't have the momentum machine in this timeline. No momentum. And I can't put the time portal there. Remember that you can only place time portals on surfaces which are in the same condition in both timelines. Because of that. So... Can I overwrite a portal? Oh, we're gonna try something dumb, aren't we? Time to pull that off? <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be like trick shot mania, right? We are going to go in here, fall, bounce, shoot up, Shoot up, and while I'm in the air, I need to shoot the orange portal somewhere, cover it in green, fly through into the future, spin around, shoot a portal onto that thing, replace my time portal anywhere else, and then shoot where I'm about to land so that I f go flying. Right? That's all... Simple stuff. No. Ah, I panicked. I actually do think I have enough time to pull this off. Wild. All right. Now I just need to do it with that cube. <laughs> cube, no! I need you! Uh, I can actually probably uh, solve that differently, right? I can just like... Grab another cube. Do the time portal. there and then what did we determine was our that, that through bounce baby blue through orange outstanding you are the first test subject to ever make it to this point in fact you are the first test subject to ever survive a trip to the future at all so yeah, I um, the ones that require dexterity are actually easier for me than the ones that require thinking. Who knew? My hands are more nimble than my mind. These light bridges <laughs> are great for traversing over deadly ground. As with the lasers, you will often only have one of these at your disposal, so use them wisely. S 
sky bridge. All right. What are we doing? That just constantly drops nonsense, so we're gonna need to get one, but we can't get back there, so. Whoop. And now we still can't get back there. Interesting, interesting. And we got no sky bridge. Now we do. Although that doesn't really help us. Good point, good point. Let's just. Whoop. Uh, let's go investigating. There's a place there. It's there. Weird. Problem is, I need to be over there. <laughs> Wait, an orange? Cube, no! All right, we have the cube. Cube acquired. Now we need to get up there, I think. Uh, I'm seeing X's. Yeah, this will be fine. Come, cube. All right, so we need one cube here. And we still have to press that one. So we need our... Uh, I should not have done that. Found or not die? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, but it means I need the cube from. The haunted timeline. Ghosts here. Question is. Cube, come on, come on. Just you, you can't touch regular cube and haunted cube. It'll annihilate or whatever. Almost jumped to my death. But we're better than that. Alright, so we have to get that cube there. Is there a thing? Aha! A thing! Once again, I am in the wrong location. But that's fine. Because time travel exists. Come, haunted cube. All right, Haunted Cube, I need you not to fall somewhere weird. Thank you. Wait, no! I need a third cube? Hold up. Hold up, what? Uh... 
Now we have to think. So do do I need to put that cube here? That'll get rid of haunted cube. Now I have to go get a new haunted cube. Which I can do. Good thinking. With all this talk about time travel, do you ever question the meaning of it all? Do your actions have any consequences? Or are we all just following the deterministic path of the universe? Bro, I don't even know what my actions are at this point. Here's a fun experiment. Listen carefully. No. The next thing la, you la, do la, is la, 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 la. three, two, one. I I don't know what he said because I was busy jumping into the abyss. He can't control my mind. Here's a fun experiment. Listen carefully. The next thing you will do is jump in three, two, one. It appears that nothing is predetermined or in any way predictable. I'm trying to land on the railing so I can try to walk along the railing. Because I keep trying to get out of bounds in this game, but they don't like me doing that. Weirdly. Here's a fun experiment. Listen carefully. The next thing you will do is jump in three, two, one. It appears that the universe is strictly deterministic, and everything you do is already predetermined. I was wondering if they actually had separate voice lines if you jumped or not. All right. This brings that down, and then it goes up. We've got a laser, unbroken by time we've got a thing it drops and it bounces there's a button over there i currently don't know how to get to that button except by rail close enough probably let me guess oh no weird uh that was Unanticipated. Uh. Huh. Because okay, clearly I have to, like, deflect it down. Problem being. Oh, okay. <laughs> Poison vat. Um, we'll get there. I was gonna say problem being uh, my timing, but I actually, if I put the portal here, I can press, go through. Oh! I'm sad. We'll get it this time. Blocker. Ow! I should probably be over there trying to catch it. That would make more sense than what I'm doing, but... see if we can try to get this somewhat consistent. So if I'm always aiming at that back, there, 
and like there. Okay. Aim at the back. Okay, we need it a little bit farther than third panel. Good to know, good to know. We're learning, this is science. This is the scientific method. Okay, so we still gotta try to catch it. I literally couldn't walk through that portal. That was bad. Actively bad. Air. All right, we got a cube. Now what? Well, now we can get this cube if we want it. Oh, interesting. This thing is down in the past, future, days of future past, whatever. I don't have time to think. Thinking's for quitters anyway. Uh, so, button, blah, blah, blah. We can... How do I get over there? Hold up. Currently seeing if we can do a box jump up. Which is, once again, clearly not the intended way, but... Sometimes you just gotta test the laws of physics. Yeah, it keeps teleporting out from under us. That's not super helpful, right? Like, does it help to be higher up? What is that laser for? Why is that laser for? Anyway, so we just have to get over there now, right? Oh, uh, that's supposed to be on there. That's my bad. Uh, what am I missing? How doth do I get over there? Let's take a look, let's go high. There is a laser beam. Ooh, okay, am I supposed to break the laser? Hang on, Cube, you're coming with me.
I disintegrated my cube! Does it disintegrate all cubes? For scientific purposes, we have to test this. Aha! So breaking that laser lets us get down here. And then in theory, you just like, whoop. But then obviously that is now there, which is a problem. So the question is, how do we move it? have another cube does that help I don't think it helps oh it's weird that I can't use this cube just grab it why won't it let me use the haunted cube Oh, it will. It's just because last time blocking. Sir. Okay, so how do we get this one into a position where once I'm on here, I can move it without it being on there. Questions, answers, anyone? Anyone just wanna come up with a cool answer for me? That's what I thought. Okay, so that drops that. Yep. We can get here. And then dropping that is easy. And now we're up. So now we need to be here and have it go up. So we need... Ah. Fun. I don't know how much of it is busted and for how long, but I don't envy you. You also played the Avengers, so I don't envy you. Wait, I played the Avengers. This is bullshit. If I could put the cube up here, this would be very easy. like station it here is that gonna be close enough for me to grab it we will find out next time no we're Okay, 
So. There. That is like as close as it gets. There, that one drops. You bastard. I guess in theory, if I just put this cube somewhere where I can hit it with that light beam, it might work. So if I, if I just like put it here? very smart test subject. If the universe really was deterministic, we would have already known the outcome of this test, which might make this compliment seem unnecessary. If you feel that you have been receiving too many compliments, feel free to ignore the previous statements. Oh no, I don't get enough compliments. Ever. Mostly because people failed to realize how divinely news, inspired I we am. We found a way to make these turrets more durable. They should now also work in the future. Most of them, anyway. Cool. Should you find a defective turret in the future, feel free to mark this as a flaw in your test report. <laughs> They killed me! Killed me, Mal. Killed me with a sword. How weird is that? Oh. Ooh, hey, 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 hey. Also, this is now going the wrong direction, which is funny. Because it has to be facing specifically that direction to get the blade-like use out of it. All right, so ooh, ow! What did I ever do to you? Kill every last one of you. So that blocks half of them. Question is, how does time work? Are well, you guys still angry in the uh, future? Activated. Uh, looks like yes. This still does a thing. Also, yes. You guys grumpy? Still, yes. Of course, I can actually. Uh, 
can actually make a thing for this. Oh, can I? Oh, there's a thing there? Interesting. So that has to be there for that to open. How do I get up there? Is that a straight? Because it doesn't look straight. I guess it is. At least enough. So I have to get a cube here. And then... Can I just use this past cube? Because I don't think I need a second one. I need to... Reset this so it's that direction. We've got orange over there. Oh, this is awkward. Because I need up there. But I have to be up there as well. Which I'm noticeably not up there. But I also can't pull the, like, usual trick of walk through the portal, walk back out, because, um, well, now I'm just back here. Like, I have the solution. Now, how do I execute? I guess I could try, you know, because... I, I guess I could do it here. Right? Like this. But I will need both cubes for that. Where will I? Ha ha! Nicely done. And don't worry, you won't encounter any turrets between the test chambers. Except for these ones. Cool. Nicely done. And don't worry, you won't encounter any turrets between the test chambers. Except for these ones. At this point, you might rightfully be asking yourself why we put you through all this. This testing track was built as a failsafe. My job is to ensure that testing can continue, no matter the circumstance. You see, this facility is largely controlled by one entity. For some reason, this entity seems completely unresponsive. 20? Years from now. 
That's why the future looks the way it does. We have lost all control, and we need to find a way to restore it. Companion cube, no! Why do you taunt me? I can make that jump. I could not, in fact, make that jump. Nicely done. And don't worry, you won't encounter I any targets between portals, the test chambers. Lame. Except for these ones. At this point, you might rightfully be asking yourself why we put you through all this. This testing track was built as a failsafe. My job is to ensure that testing can continue, no matter the circumstance. You see, this facility is largely controlled by one entity. For some reason, this entity seems completely unresponsive. 20? Years from now. That's why the future looks the way it does. We have lost all control, and we need to find a way to restore it. So I have to press this button, that button, or er, something. This gives me a hollow field. if I fire it over there. Back and forth forever. Okay. Not really what I was looking for, but... Let's go check out the past. Same thing. What happens if I launch myself back and forth? Instant death. So that's cool. So how do I get it to stop bouncing back and forth forever? Do I just uh, hit it with another cube? A cube from the future? Future cube. It's like cheating. Now, how do I actually use this to get over there? Am I 
I missing something like obvious? Oh. Okay. Hey, am I? E better, better. And I'm sure he'll do great. I feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So I guess uh, if I'm supposed to do it here, then I need my cube back. Does the cube work here? Does it, does it do the thing? No. Because you need both. I guess. So how do I get up there? I need to be there. Yeah, I can do like, I can try to. That won't help. Because I would need to be in the past for that to future to do anything. This is it, right? Like, you come out here, and then if that's flipped, then you shoot a thing there, get a light bridge, and you walk over. The problem is, for that to be flipped, it looks like I need to press both buttons, which is only possible the other timeline. In the other timeline, I'm not figuring out how I can get up there. Because hmm. it's blue and then yeah, I get orange, but I can't.
Again, I can't pull the uh, sneaky trick of going in and out of portals because it's on the ceiling. I think that cube has to be there, right? Because I can't put the future cube there because then any movement of the new cube would just break it. So this timeline's cube has to be there. And only in this timeline can I have two cubes. This doesn't do anything other than flip that, so I don't see any reason it can't just be there. And once again, asking for suggestions as my stupid reptile brain just can, keeps repeating the same things. All you gotta do is just get up there, right? You can, it shows, it's telling me how to do the thing. Hey, just do that thing. And I'm like, I'm trying. Problem is I can only do that here. Where this is noticeably not active. So I have like access to this. Now do I have to do a weird like shoot that, shoot out the portal from beneath me and then I should check what color I need. Orange, sure. All right, orange. Whew. 
Almost messed that up. By just walking off a cliff. I mean, it, like, it's not a horribly difficult to get back to the point I'm at, but. Well done. You have proven yourself to be quite capable. Keep going, and you might actually fulfill your true purpose in all this. <sighs> Sometimes you just got to jump. Da, da, da. You are in the home stretch now. Only a few more chambers until this testing course is over. Time to introduce the last new testing element. Yeah. These the Aperture Science vortex. Excursion Funnels will mostly work in both timelines. Have fun exploring all your options in the next chamber. Uh, blue is push? Okay. So... There's a grate! No! Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's check here. Still a great. That's cool. There's a thing on the floor though. I'm about that. Uh, thing on the floor is still there. Okay. Let's check. Na, 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 na. That's the sound those make. For those unaware. Uh, now what? Now I gotta put a thing in a place. I should probably just leave that there for a moment. Okay. There's a button and an X. I can't shoot through there. Can shoot through there, but it's a push, not a pull. Oh, I didn't see that. All right, let's. Is that, oh, that's gonna switch its direction. Perfect. I'm assuming that this will take me from push to pull. Yeah. Uh, so let's go get our other cube. Because I think I need to double cube it, but I'm not sure. What happens if I set the time portal right there? Because it's in both, but it'll be push and pull colliding. Will it destroy the universe? I've always wanted to get out of bounds, so. We, uh, we reached God.
I'm really tempted just to end the stream there because it's perfect. But also, boy oh boy, does the game not like me being back here. And I don't know what to tell it. It did this to me. Can I get out? Is it possible? Uh, game? I don't think it's possible. I think I'm just dead. I pushed so hard as to go into the machinery. Oh, huh. Interesting. It saved it right there for me. It's kind of cool. So does this kill me regular style? No, it stops me. See? I had to unlock the powers of the universe to kill myself like that. I'm a champion. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Obviously, I need a cube to press that. So... Once again, let's go... I looked right at it, and then I was like, ah, I'm gonna do the other one. This question is, how do I get this up there? Because that's really where we're at, right? It's... Take a look around. <sighs> Science stuff. So, can I... I can shoot a portal back there, I think. Problem being, like, once you're down here, then how does that help? Try to... Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, there's no way to get through it like that. Right. So, in theory, I could do it with this portal. This will push me through. So now I have both pull and push, but I still only have like one one portal to work with. I guess that's an amusing thought. Uh. Pulling, so orange. Orange. No! You bastard! I can just do it like that. And then. Orange. Portal? Well, it did what I wanted. 
question is, how do I get a cube up here? Because, uh, decontamination field is very real. can't put anything through there. Again, super cool. I love. Oh God, the great, the great is awful. Please, please stop. Oh God. Uh, once again, I think I'm gonna have to reset it, cause the clipping on the sides of this grate are um literally preventing me from doing anything. And I can't... There's literally no spot to shoot a portal from here. So, um, that's not great. <laughs> uh, it looks like we didn't lose too much. So, any ideas? I ask, not knowing if you've seen any of this puzzle. Uh, so what was the play? Red. Time. Got a cube. The problem is, again, decontamination field. Be free, cube! No! It didn't work. I just like. Shouldn't be surprising because there was a vortex. It is of interest to me that standing here turns off the uh, decontamination field. Almost like I should have to stand here. Like I should be able to retrieve that. Uh, if I could get that cube, I could throw it down. And because it would be off of that, it would push through. But then it wouldn't, that wouldn't work. So I'd need... It needs to be like this cube. That was cool. But like... Oh right, this cube's gone. It's now up there. I think. Or just like gone, gone. Uh, which is fine. I can go get one pretty easily. Yeah. 
I guess I can try... Uh, here's the wackiness. So we pin it to the roof so that it's going to be noticeably behind me. Since these basically just move at steady state. And then that'll drop to there. Now I just have to get it up here. I'm not sure how to do that. That's the problem is the contamination field breaks all your portals. So I've got a cube there now. Is that worth anything? Portals are broke, so I have to. That won't work. Because the, the barrier. to set that up first. Which makes this awkward. Because I don't think there's any way I can even, like, I can't snipe that corner. It doesn't look like... I guess I can, I just like, it's crazy difficult. Is that good enough? Like, does that help? Cause like, No, because I still need This might be it, folks. At least for the night. Unless anyone's got some brand spanking new ideas. Like I can make... Because I can't push my way up here, right? So even, like, switching that doesn't help. 
because there's no nothing on that side of the wall. So I have to be pulling from here. That is the only way up here. Now, this looks identical, which basically means we have to do it in the past. It doesn't have to. There might be a solution, but usually when the puzzles are exactly the same, it's because you need two cubes to figure out the solution. So it's all about, like, figuring out how to maneuver your cubes. So I can get the cube, and obviously I've figured out how to relay the past and the, or the present and the future to get up there with the blue beam shooting through time. problem is obviously yeah that field right there is once I touch it it's not just that like it destroys the cube yes and it destroys all of my portals Do my fu do my future portals stay? Uh, I actually don't know, um, cause that is just quite literally a solution, right? Um, I don't actually have to do this this way, but I guess I'm going to. So this will break all of my stuff. The question is, okay, it does break the ones in the future. But if I was doing this in the future, it wouldn't break the ones in the past. But I can't do this trick because I can't have two cubes in the future. Right? Because then I'm just up here and my only cube would be over there.
No, I'm, uh... I'm once again stumped. Which is annoying, because you can see we're on 23 of 25. There's literally this one and then two more. So, I think I'm just going to have to call it uh, and go to the, you know, eminent brainstorming of don't think about it, randomly think of solution. But, ugh, my brain is teased. And that's good enough. So that's, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's interesting someone building their own puzzles in Portal and their whole, like, whole thing. Uh, next week. Well, Jake will be on tomorrow. Don't know what he's doing. I have ideas. He has ideas. What actually ends up happening? Who knows? Uh, there's a episode as Elsa said in chat. There's an episode of the podcast coming out on Sunday. There is always much to do. Um, I'll be back on Monday. Usually playing Magic. Wow. Thanks, Wanna Become Famous. You nailed it right at the end. Banned. Ban. Ban hammer. Uh, yeah, so. That. Uh, be back for, yeah, more magic on Mondays. Probably Gladiator again. We'll see. But I've been enjoying it. I've been playing Storm. Like a dumbass. But, you know, they put Grape Shot in the format. You gotta try. You gotta try. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I, I don't know if I'll play more of this. Since there's only three levels left, I might just beat it off screen. I might, depending on how, like, if I figure it out, I might beat it and then, like, show the solution just in case uh, people have any sort of interest. And then... I'll probably look into this mod that Astro posted early on because I like Might and Magic. Oh, my God. Anyway, for the world's longest outro, continue to sit here.